Hi everyone, I'm just popping on at the start of this video to, um, as a bit of an introduction, um, a good while ago back at the start of October, I decided to film a sort of week in the life vlog, um, which I ended up only filming one day off. And then I just wasn't sure whether I should be bothered editing that one day and putting it up on my channel and it sort of sat there not being used for a while. And then this week I just thought, you know what, let's just let's just have a look at it and it's not too bad. So I thought I would pop it on anyway. Um, you can let me know what you think of this kind of video, just a sort of glimpse into my day-to-day -day life and things that I get up to, sewing related things, life related things, business related things. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Today I decided I would try vlogging for the week, just show you what I get up to um, during a typical week. Might be really boring, I don't know. I have no makeup on so that's something you're going to have to get used to because I don't wear makeup very often. So I've just made my breakfast, a bit late, it's half past nine, I've already Got up and taken my wee boy to school, got him dressed, which takes forever, he's five. And um, had a pep talk with him, because he doesn't like school, so I had to have a good chat about making positive choices in your life. Don't know how that went down. And uh, made his lunch, took him over to school, it's pouring with rain today, it's a bit of a miserable day, which is affecting my mood, so apologies for that. Um, I'm sure most of us get affected by the weather. Um, I am currently in my sewing room, which is also my office, for want of a better word, and it is messy. That's something I wanna address. But first thing I do is, um, my computer's here, so I'm gonna do some um, email replies and I've got um, some orders to cut and post. I have a um, curtain of my mother-in-law's that I need to fix, which I've had for a very long time and I should have set it back to her already, so i got to do that. Um, I always go through my little diary, got this one from Dodie Yates Smith, I might talk through that later on. I can see my battery's about to die, so that's fun. Didn't think that through, did I? With vlogging. Might not be vlogging today. Um, and I've got some sewing I want to get done. So let's see how much I can do before I pick my son up at two o'clock. So what I do with every order is write a personalised thank you card. So I'll always have a look at what they're ordering and maybe see if it's someone that's already ordered from me before so I can um, have a little chat with them or otherwise I just write something nice to say thank you for um, ordering from my little shop. These are little cards here. This is, I just print out the order here so that I know exactly what I need to cut and I don't get it wrong. I'm covering up their address here, obviously. I'm not gonna have that on my vlog. 
but thank you cards with um, a play on my um, branding that's my thread quarters branding there sort of with like a little pit map pin drop with the um, threads so it's a heart with the thread instead thought it was kind of cute um, and then I just write on this side so this is from Catherine my writing is terrible so that's a negative unfortunately So this is going to Dublin actually, so I'm doing International Tracked and Signed for um, that one. So I will select that and go um, down, pay and generate label and then over here is my um, printer. Sorry the camera is resting on my sewing machine. and. Um, yeah, this is a very small room and I have a lot of stuff to organise and I just haven't got around to organising it properly yet. All of this, by the way, is things that I want to refashion and sort out. And I don't really like refashioning, so <laughs> it just sort of sits there. Should have tidied up for my vlog, shouldn't I? <laughs> there we go, ready to go. Off to the post office now. And I usually walk to the post office. It is still raining. So I might check the weather forecast and see if there's going to be a drop in rain. In thing. Yes, that is a waste paper basket. I think maybe on my to-do list should be clean this room because <laughs> it's chaos. I'll show you why it's chaos. this we are currently dealing with this is our bedroom and it was decorated and looking beautiful at the start of the year I would say and then this damp this is a damp area of our wall but because that's an external wall and uh, it's an old house and it has damp and it's really 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 hard to treat damp um, this is my husband's attempt second attempt at doing the damp so he has replaced this plasterboard area here and um, he's currently smoothing it over and then we'll paint it again but it just means that I'm currently living in um, yeah in this kind of DIY chaos and it means that I my it, you know there's my um what would you call it dressing table normally goes there it's in our tiny hallway there's a lot of stuff's just been thrown into my sewing room as well and also my son's room has got stuff thrown into it so like we're literally living
I'm currently just living in DIY chaos and when it's like this I have no desire to try and tidy up because you know you sort of feel like you're trying to swim against the current when, when you do that so I really hope it'll be done soon because I'm pretty fed up but you know at least my husband can make these do these DIY things it just takes a little bit longer when you do it yourself than get someone in but it's cheaper right it's only drizzling so I thought let's go out so mask at the ready Hello, hello. Um, so I am back from posting my parcel, so that's great, got that ticked off. And um, I've changed clothes and my hair is wet, so yeah, I had a shower. I decided I was feeling a bit bleh and my hair really needed wash. So that is now sort of air drying a little bit before I um, sort it out. And I've had my lunch and um, I am now going to sew um, or fix curtains of my mother-in-law's and I just can't wait to get this job <laughs> over and done with it's long overdue so it's this type that has the this like pencil plate tape in it I've never done it um curtains before so I had to google it youtube and uh it's very easy just sew it on the top um the hem and things like that's already been done so hopefully this shouldn't take too long Okay, we gonna read it? Yes. Okay, let's just have a look. I won't film you. Sniff. Just open it up. Sniff, sniffer, sniffers, walk, walk. Yeah, well done. Did a great job there. Sniffers, walk. So who's sniffer? The dog. Yeah. Please, can you take Sniffer for a walk? So this is my hair, um, nearly all dried out actually. I don't usually leave it quite as uh, dry as this before I use uh, my machine. But, um, oh time got away with me. But um, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I was doing the cur curly girl method for a while and um, okay, I really, I did enjoy it, but it's a lot of work. And to be honest, my life just doesn't have time for the amount of work that's involved in the curly girl method. I just really want something easy and um, quick well nothing is quick with this kind of hair i have really thick wavy frizzy hair um so the quickest that i can get away with and i have discovered this massive beast he's revlon some kind of brush i can't remember what it's called but i'll link it down below but it is very old now you can see lots of bits are missing um but it is brilliant and you can dry your hair from wet damp i would say and get sort of like a, a nice decent blow dry i don't need my hair to be poker straight and it, yeah it does a good job so i'll show you the after <laughs> of this crazy hair i also need a haircut getting one next week woo and we are done 
the edges ends don't look great because as I say I really need a haircut and I've got loads and loads and loads of split ends it's probably been nearly a year since I've had a haircut um, and I haven't dyed my hair in a year I think I think it's about a year anyway so I've got my greys which I love I love them there's some more and uh, yeah I just really love my hair when it's done it won't stay like this for long though <laughs> it'll probably get put up in a bun very very soon right now off to check on my wee boy again Treasure hunt, is it? Okay, follow the point of the pencil. Okay, so this that way. One. Okay. Through the door. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep walking forward. Keep walking forward. Right, now where? Ooh, okay. Pencil says that way. Let's go. In here. Now one what's that? One step forward. Oh, I see something down here. What is it? Oh, is this the treasure map? Woohoo! Oh, -ho! Okay, you open it for me because I've only got one hand. Let me see the treasure map. Oh, okay, let's see. Okay, so is this where the treasure is? Mm -hmm. Uh oh, what is this the tree house? No, or is this our house? No. What is no. this? Oh, um, come on, give me a clue. Oh, I know what this is. This is the castle. This is the castle. This is the one pink willow. Yeah? That's not the one pink willow. Well, it looks like a tree. A tree. Okay. And that's the little door's house. The little door's house. Door. Oh, the dwarves that you built out of Lego. Yes. Okay, so this is the castle. That's where it is. Let's go find it. Okay, follow the pencil. Okay. Off we go. Okay, let's go. Uh, oh. That way. Okay, here's the castle. It's got to be. It's in this section here. Through here. Through here. Oh, there it is. There's the treasure chest. Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, look at the treasure. Quite exciting.
So um, what did you reckon? Did you enjoy that little video? I didn't sign off, which is why I'm popping up again at the end of the video. Uh, obviously, as I said, I thought I was going to be doing a whole week, so I didn't say, I didn't sign off and say cheerio or anything like that. So that's me doing it now. Just popping on to say, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do um, give it a thumbs up or drop me a comment to say whether you like this sort of content or not. And um, hopefully I'll be back again soon with um, some finished makes for you, which I know you all love. Right. All the best. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.